So you want to register on Vidicon but not sure how to do it? No worries, I got you covered. My name is Farha Saida and I head hiring and learning and development at Telugu. Today I'll show you the complete step-by-step -step Vidicon DLT registration process including your entity, sender ID and content template registration. To get more free DLD updates and helpful contacts, subscribe to our channel. Also, if instead of spending lots of hours doing it yourself, you want our DLD experts to help you complete your DLD registration from beginning to end, contact our team. Contact our team using our contact links in the description below right now. Let's start with the DLD entity registration. Step number one, visit the Vidacon DLD portal to do this type pingconnect.in slash entity slash register with on your web browser. You would find the link in the description below. You can also copy this link from the video's description. Step number two, decide who do you want to register as. Once you're on the portal, you will be asked to select whether you want to register as an entity or a telemarketer. An entity is a company that sends bulk SMS directly to its customer as a form of communication. And a telemarketer is an SMS provider company that provides bulk SMS to companies. Since you are a new entity, select as entity and then click next. Select click here on the next page. Once you select yourself as entity and press next, you will land on this page. Since you are a new entity, select click here beside the new DLT registration prompt. Step number four, select location. By default, India is a choice here. So just select India and proceed to the next page. Step number five, fill out the customer acquisition form. On this page, you need to fill out the customer acquisition form. Select new registration as this is your first DLT registration process. A message will pop up on the screen about fees. Click OK. Step number six, submit your company details. Here you need to submit your company's details. Enter your organization name, entity type, email ID, category of the organization, company address, company state, city, PIN code and mobile number. Step number seven, upload your proof of identity and proof of address. After submitting your company's details, you will be prompted to upload your proof of identity and proof of address. You need to upload your company's PAN and CIN slash GST or TAN. For proof of identity, you can use a passport, unique identity number or Aadhaar, GSTIN or Election Commission ID. For proof of address, you can use a unique identity number or Aadhaar, Election Commission ID, Passport, Electricity Bill, Telephone Bill, Lease Agreement or Registered Sale. Step number 8. Enter the authorized person's detail. Here you need to enter the details of the authorized person. Enter the name, phone number, email ID, designation and authorization document. On the payment page, you don't need to do anything. Leave the fields blank since there is no registration fee. All you have to do is agree with the terms and condition and then hit submit. Now step number nine, complete your verification. After submitting your registration, you will receive an OTP on your registered number. Use this OTP to complete the verification process. Then go ahead and click your email as well. You should receive an email from Videocon asking you to verify your email. Click the link to confirm your email and voila, your email verification is complete. Now wait two to three business days for your registration approval. If your request is successful, you'll receive an email SMS with your login details. But wait, until now you have only completed your entity registration. You still need to get your sender ID and content template approved. A sender ID is a unique name that alerts your SMS recipients about your identity. It can be a unique set of numbers or characters. Here's how you can get your sender ID registered. Step number one, visit the Videocon DLD portal, pingconnect.in slash entity slash home. We share the link in the description below. Once logged in, head to the left navigation bar and click header. To add a new header, select new header. Next, click single for a new single header and select all other appropriate fields. Step number two, select header type. 
Select header type from the list and choose the category that best describes your business. Select promotional headers when sending messages to sell or promote your business. Select transactional headers when responding to your customer's interaction. Select service headers when sending customer service messages. Step number three, name your header. Note that headers consist of six characters which can be numeric, alpha or alphanumeric. Special characters such as hash, percentage, dollar, and etc. and blank spaces are not acceptable in the header. Select check status and confirm the availability of your applied header or sender ID. Step number four, upload your documents. On this page, simply upload your documents. Once done, choose the appropriate documents for your header and request OTP. Once you have received and verified your OTP, hit submit. A successful submission could change your header status to pending and that's it. Now you just need to wait until your documents get reviewed. Once successfully approved, the header status will change from pending to approved. Now you're only left with the last part of your DLT registration and that part is getting your content template registered. So let's have a look at that as well. Step number one, creating new templates. From the entity portal, navigate to the sidebar, click on the templates option. From the template page, select add new template to create new templates. Step number two, fill in the template name. Here, you need to name your template. You can name your template anything that suits your business. In the communication type column, select either call or SMS. Next, go to the content type column and decide between the type of content. You have three options here and here's what they mean. Number one, service implicit. These messages go to customers based on business relationship with the customer. Two, service explicit. These messages are promotional but go out to customers upon their consent. Number three, transactional. These messages go out based on customers interaction with your website products. Now let's move to step number three. Complete the consent template ID column. Go to the consent template ID column and from the drop down list, select the consent template registered on DLD. Please note that you don't need a consent template ID for transactional and service implicit communications. Then go to content category column and from the drop down list here, select a content category that applies to the template you are creating. Step number four, select template type. Go to the template type column. Here, you'll need to select either Unicode or text. Note that any language that isn't English falls under Unicode. Then scroll down to the content creation section. Here, you have the choice of two options. Copy paste the message or create a new message. You can either copy and paste a message in the copy paste message section here, or you can type a new message in the create new message section. The important thing to understand here is the variables. So if your message content has variables, you need to select the variable text and click add variable. Let me quickly show you how. Let's say I wanted to get this SMS approved from my content template. Hi, name, your OTP for brand name login is 7860. Here I have name OTP as variables. I will simply select the name and OTP and click on plus add variable and that's it. Do the same for all the variables you want in your content template. Please note that the inclusion of brand name is a necessity in your message content. So make sure to add your brand name in all messages if you want your content template approved. Oh, and what if your audience doesn't speak English? No problem. From the drop down list, you can select the language you want. But remember, the system will treat messages in languages other than English as Unicode. Step number five, verify your request. Now you're ready to submit your application. Click get OTP and enter the OTP you receive on your registered number or email. Then go ahead and click submit. Your application is now ready for approval. Sit back and wait for the operator to approve your request. To check the approval status of your template, scroll up and click back. That's it. You learned how to register your business, your sender ID and content templates for DLT registration on VideoCon. But hey, if you still need help with your registration, you can get personalized help from an expert at SMS Country. Visit smscountry.com today and contact us with any help you need. I'll see you with another video. Bye for now.